To have a better appreciation and understanding of Power BI, I want to go over the high level overview of the entire Power BI flow. Okay, so the first step is to start off with Power Query. So in Power Query, we'll load the data in here and then we'll perform transformations to clean our data and remove the dirty ones. Okay, and then we have something that's usable and useful for us. So that's the first step. And then the next step is to load it into Power Pivot into the data model. Okay. And then this is where we start establishing relationships between our tables. Okay. So we add more meaning into our data. Okay. By linking the related tables to each other. Next is Power View. So now we have the data model ready, then we use our data model and create visualizations that show the trends in our data or something more visually meaningful that's easy to the eyes, okay? So this is where we use Power View for. And then afterwards, once your report is ready in Power View, you can now publish it straight to the Power BI website. And now you can share your work with other people or create dashboards out of it. So that's pretty much the high level flow. Okay, for our Power BI process. So I'll just show you the screens quickly for each one. So if we go over to Power Query, this is the screen that we're gonna be seeing, wherein we'll be cleaning our data in here, okay, for Power Query. Next off, with Power Pivot, what we see here is we now start to establish relationships between our tables so that we can relate them, okay, all of them together. So that's for Power Pivot. Now we have Power View when we start creating visualizations of our data model, right? The data that we have just cleaned up, we've set it up. Now we create graphs and visualizations out of it. Okay, so that's for Power View. And lastly is we now publish. So you could see it, right? That it's the same report that we created in Power View. And now we publish it to the Power BI website over here. And you can share it with other people or you can create dashboards, okay? So this is for the Power BI flow, and we'll be going through detail for each one of them. G'day, it's John Michalus here, the Chief Inspirational Officer and Founder at MyExcelOnline.com, and I hope that you enjoyed this video that we just showed you. If you did, then give it a thumbs up. It just lets us know to create more of the same Excel videos for you so you can get better at Excel. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get new Excel videos each and every week. And finally, we want you to join our flagship online Excel course. It's called the My Excel Online Academy. And you get all of our Excel courses. You get our Excel beginner, intermediate, and advanced courses. We go through over 500 Excel videos, which teach you formulas, macros, VBA, pivot tables, Power BI, Power Query, Power Pivot, charts, formatting, access, and much more because we add new videos each and every month. You also can download all our Excel workbooks and keep so you can practice. And you also get a certificate of course completion. Plus, you're going to get six bonuses when you sign up to our academy course. You get our dedicated teacher support. You get access to all our Excel webinars. You get quarterly live Q&As. You can join our private Facebook group. You also join our private Excel forum. And we're also going to mail out to you an exclusive academy welcome pack. So if you want to get better at Excel and stand out from your peers and stand out from the crowd so you can get noticed by top management and receive the promotions and pay rises that you deserve, then click below in the description and join the My Excel Academy online course so you can get better at Excel today.